All right, we're down to the nitty-gritty details of the anodizing system for up kind of ignition training and just a little bit about how it works. So let me go over here and turn it on. It's going to come down here, act like it picks a part up. I would like a little more acting in that, but I may not have time to finish that up. But since it dipped it into the red tank, it comes out red. And there's actually an order list that it goes by now. So it needs to make three red parts. So we're gonna see it drop that part off. And it needs to come over and grab another part. Kind of think it needs to change color or do a little something here at the beginning. Haven't nailed that down. And we'll probably have a little station here to act like it's picking something up. And it comes over here and yeah, it needs to dip it and make this one also a red part. Got that done. And then it's gonna go over and drop that part off. And then it'll come over here and it needs to make a third red part. So now we have a list of orders that we need, have the order numbers. It has the color code that it needs. It also has the quantity that's required. It has a priority. That way we could actually move parts up that all of a sudden are rush parts in ours. And it also has a value so that we can do, you know, the little calculations. Okay, so this was a magenta part it needed to make. So it dipped it in the red and into the blue. But uh, the next thing that Mary Bruce and I've been working on is as you dip into these tanks, they do lose volume. So now we've, we've created one tank, and here's a, here's a good example of how you actually do AOIs. We created one tank that does what we need, and now we need to multiply it and we want three copies of the same thing. And I think this is a really good use for an AOI or add-on instruction. So let's see how we can do that. So we have this simulation program and hopefully we were fairly consistent throughout it. That is we have Mary Bruce underscore mixer auto off, Mary Bruce underscore mixer in cycle. So we should be able to copy this to an AOI and do a little bit of find and replace and hopefully package this pretty well. So our first step is actually inside assets, which is typically closed up. We're gonna right click add on instructions. Ooh, that's right, we gotta be offline to do this. Well, since we're going offline, we definitely need to go file, save. And okay, let's say we could. Now in my case, I can go offline to do this. I also could just open a second copy of Studio 5000 and manage to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just save this. And then I'm gonna go offline. And now we can go over here and we can right click add on instruction, new add on instruction. And we're gonna call this Anho Dizing Tank. And look how good my spelling has gotten at anodizing folks. Tank. And we will go ahead and we are gonna do a ladder for this and hit okay. And then I'm just gonna hit okay to this and we're gonna double click on its logic over here. Because I typically would create my tags but I have all my tags roughed out over here. So I'm gonna come over here and just do a control A, control C. And then we're gonna go over to anodizing tank and we're gonna paste all that in. And we're gonna get lots of angry stuff in here, but before we fix all of our angriness, because it doesn't know what any of these tags are, we're gonna take Mary Bruce out of it. Because in the end, we're gonna create a, a, a instance of this called Mary Bruce. So instead of having Mary Bruce underscore level, we're gonna have Mary Bruce dot level. So we're gonna hit that find and replace. We're gonna make sure we're only in the current routine. And we are gonna search for Mary underscore Bruce underscore. And I'm gonna leave the replace with blank and we're just gonna do a replace all on the whole thing. And like that, we have, we have eliminated Mary Bruce from our entire existence. Well, not really, she's right beside of me giggling. But okay, so that takes care of all that. So now we need to create all our tags. And so if I go over here to my parameters and logic, I could type them in here. And I think in previous videos we have, 
But instead of that, we're gonna use right click get options. So, one, I got way too many tabs open. So, I wanna get to this logic tab. And then I wanna, yeah, let's go ahead and clean some of this up just so we aren't getting confused ourselves. We're gonna close these out for now. We'll have all of them back open in just a second probably. But we're gonna take them one at a time. And mainly when we right click, notice we could make new local tag or we could make new parameter. So if we go over here to our parameters and oops, if we go over here and I'm sorry, right click it a dozen time and open definition, we have our parameters. These are things that you see in the add-on instruction. We have local tags. These are things that we use in the add-on instruction, but they're not viewable outside of it. And there's good uses for both of them, but I think all of these are gonna be parameters. So we're gonna right click, and we're gonna make a new parameter and simulation mode, that is a double integer. And then this one right here, that will be a Boolean. And you don't need to watch me do all this, so I'm gonna hit the pause button and do the rest of these. You know, and I just stopped myself here. It, here's a good example of a local tag. So in here, I do have a one shot. And we don't need to see that one shot in our user find tag. So this is a good example. We're gonna right click this one. We're gonna make it a local tag. And that way we're just not, clog, you know, just clogging up our user defined tag that we're looking gonna look at in a second with some of these items that you'll never need to look at. All right, we got all our angry red X's fixed, but let's just have a look at how terrible our order might be when we go to here to parameters, because we ought to have a little bit of logic to them. Like really the first one probably is the start tag. So I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna drag it to the top and then we can grab that stop tag and we can drag it up here and I'm just gonna do a little organization here. Okay, now everything looks less red and angry and I think I have it in an order I like, so I'm gonna go over here to simulation. We're gonna leave Mary Bruce in because I'm sure I copied and pasted something wrong, but now we're gonna drag a new rung at the top of it and we're gonna go to our add-on tab and we have lots of add-on instructions on this, but we're gonna get that anodizing tank instruction and then we're gonna fill in some values over here. And since we are gonna make this one Mary Bruce, notice we right click Mary Bruce and new, along with that add on instruction, we did create a user defined data type for it. And this is where we're gonna get Mary Bruce dot instead of Mary Bruce underscore. So we'll hit create. After all that work making that nice AOI, we really got thinking about it and realized that that wouldn't be real realistic to what you would see out in the field. So instead, we're making a whole simulation task and each person will have their own name and that'll give them a group of tags. And also that lets them zoom out and be able to get to all the tags, including all the fancy little robot thingies. Okay, so it does look like the, all the new simulation works like it should. Now the next thing is we gotta modify all the tag names because yeah, they were Mary Bruce underscore filling pop. This needs to be something such as what we did on this level, which is program colon Mary Bruce dot. Now we could do these one at a time, but we if we go big or go home, so we're gonna use the nice find and replace feature. All the pressure's on, see if Mary Bruce can do it with the video going. Gonna take and replace Mary Bruce underscore with program colon Mary Bruce, and we're gonna find replace all. Can oh, I think I don't think you can control A. So 138. We're gonna go for this. We're just gonna no, hit the replace all. Let's do it. Are you sure? <laughs> oh no, unable to reconfigure binding. And of course, Mary Bruce did exactly what I said and broke everything on the screen. So now we gotta go through every one and figure out what exactly I did wrong. And in my, you know, not reading the details, um, we should have only changed tags on that. Luckily she didn't save it. So we were able to close it and start over. First warning last time should have been, there were 152 instances and we didn't have 152 tags. So 25 looks closer. All right, nothing like trying it on a video. So here, those three tanks. 
represent those three tanks. And right now they're empty. And we got our pump HOA, so will you switch the red pump's HOA to the auto position? We want to go to auto. Let's just see if it works. It's not working, is it? Mm -mm. Well, how about that? Well, that's why we do everything on live on video, so you can see me screw up. And of course it's doing exactly what I told it because I created the tags and I didn't put any values in them. So it's supposed to start pumping if it's less than two and a half. Right now zero or actually 0 0.03. So it did actually pump. It pumped a little fluid. That should have been 2.5. And our stop level is five. Whoops, that's 50. No, it would flood our room. And now if we switch that over into auto, Ooh, and our tank starts filling up, and go ahead and switch the other two into auto. And both of those are full, which means our tanks are ready to do some dipping. Now we ought to be able to scroll way to the top here, and I have this to load some dance, some sample data, some sample data. <laughs> so we're gonna toggle this bit here, and. You know, here's another good example. Somebody just the other day is like, never use unlatches. Well, here's a good example. I want to load this in and then I need to unlatch it. Perfect example for an unlatch. But okay, so what that does is that puts orders in so that this should be ready to run. Now, as these tanks, as you dip the part in the different tanks, it should let the tanks lower over on our screens. So now, that level goes down here. Actually, it should get it. You got a little splash up and then it drops down. <laughs> and well, that's all that needed was red. So notice as different orders have needed different amounts of color, our tanks are varying a lot, but this one should get that red tank to where it needs to fill back up. So now, yep, it's getting ready to go drop down into that one. And as soon as it does, you see that little splash up, but okay, there it goes. And now it filled that tank back up. I think that's going to give us a good amount of information to build an ignition screen on. For sure, all we have our four axes uh, or pos positions on our robot. We have our orders that it is going to run through that we'll have to keep track of, do some data logging on it. We have safety. We got our light curtains on the front we need to build out. We got alarming. We have vision. So yeah, I think that's gonna give us overall a really nice setup to learn about building SCADAs and HMI screens through Ignition this January. You'll see a link down in the description where you can sign up for it. I'll see you then.